The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. I'm Catherine Cook here on the Eagles Sports Network with cross-country coach Eric Phillips as they get ready to head to Queens for the second time this season. Coach, you're coming up on your last race before championship season. How are you all feeling as you get ready to head back to Queens on Friday? We are excited. So um, the last time we were there two weeks ago, uh, McAlpine treated us very well. Uh, I believe of the 17 that of us that raced, we had eight PRs and four seasons best. Uh, so for you stats nerds out there, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, hoping to go back and do that again. Um, bigger race this time. Uh, Approximately 50 teams in the race uh, come around on Friday. About 30% of that field, about 15 of those teams are directly from the Southeast region. So going into that championship season, uh, 25 days from Friday, uh, this is our barometer. This is our test. This is how this works out. We get to see exactly how we line up. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned the personal records. How is that coupled with just running the course, you know, like before, how is that? Going, playing into your players' confidence going into Friday? Uh, it definitely plays into the confidence. I mean, going out there, and it's a course most of the kids are familiar with to begin with. It's a very popular, very widely known course to begin with. So most of us have ran it before. Um, but going back out there two weeks ago and just tearing it up in the first place helps with the confidence. Mm -hmm. And we're, we went up there, we've been, we've been beating them up, we've been working hard. It's, uh, it's been a tough season training-wise for the team, but they – Went into it with heavy legs last time, and we came out on the other end uh, better than we were. So same course. We've been beating them up over the last uh, 14 days, but uh, we're ready to roll. All right. So Lou Greer and Rachel Strayer are kind of your front runners. How are they feeling going into this race? Are you expecting to see more from them, kind of maybe coming in a little bit higher in the in the finishing? Absolutely. Um, so generally speaking, uh, last time we were there, we were all a little slow through that first mile, mile and a half or so. Um, and for the women's race, that was about not quite half the race. So if we're slow that far into the race, uh, we're kind of playing catch up. Mm -hmm. um, we're fixed on that. We got a little bit, a little bit too conservative last time. So this time with a bigger race, if we get out conservative like that again, we're getting buried. So we fixed that first mile or so uh, on both sides. Uh, I think we're going to have pretty, pretty strong showing. Um, Luke is just going to get in there and mix it up with those big dogs. He's got his goals. Um, we'll see where we line up on those. I have a lot of confidence in, confidence in him. Same thing with Rachel Strayer. Um, She's been rocking and rolling, as are the rest of our men and women this fall. Um, we will see how these goals line up on Friday. The weather actually played a factor in it last time, too. Do you think that this hurricane is going to have any effect on the course as far as rain or anything like that? Uh, this course, no. Uh, last time it was hot and muggy and pretty gross. Um, obviously, with the storms coming through this week, it's been raining over in Charlotte, from, from my understanding, most of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, the course itself outside of the start, being on the grass, the rest of it's pretty fast, hard, compacted gravel, dirt roads. I really don't foresee the weather really having a negative effect this week. Um, throw that in with cooler weather finally. Um, we're actually getting in cross-country weather, and uh, I think it's actually going to be a really fast day. All right, that's great. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. I'm Catherine Cook, and he's Coach Phillips, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.